I'm Jonathan Robinson, and this is Fred Buzz. Hello, and welcome back to Fret Buzz. I hope you guys are doing all right today. Today, before we get started, we've got something kind of cool. John over at Dropstrap was kind enough to send us one of these amazing things to try out. It's a pretty cool product. It's actually made so that you can put it on your guitar strap and change the length pretty much instantly. So like if you have it on the guitar, this goes on the end of your guitar, this button pulls out this string that goes through your strap. It works with strap locks. It works on any guitar. It works right-handed or left-handed. It's actually much lower profile than I imagined it would be when it was on the guitar strap. So basically, it's on your guitar. It allows you to change the length of your guitar instantly. It would be fantastic if you were doing like a sit-down gig and you wanted to play your guitar and you leave the strap on and it's like a leather strap that's a pain to change. You could hit this thing, shorten it up, and have it sitting where you want it on a stool and then if you stand up, you hit the button, you pull it down, it's there. Um, really cool product. It's dropstrap.com. We'll put the link down there. We're actually gonna give this one away. So if you are subscribed to our channel, leave a comment, and then we will pick a winner at random and we'll mail you this drop strap. So um, if you wanna be in the running, make sure, you're, make sure you are subscribed to Casino Guitars. Uh, leave us a comment and we will, we will pick somebody randomly from the folks in the comments. And again, if you wanna check it out, it is just dropstrap.com. So thanks to John at Dropstrap for sending that over for us to, to check out. Very cool product. Uh, so jumping right into today's videos, um, I think I have some fun ones today. I think I've got some new ones, a good mix of, of small brand new channels, or, or maybe not necessarily brand new, but smaller uh, growing channels, and then some, some pretty established big ones. Uh, the first one was actually one that someone sent to me in an Instagram message. Uh, Keish the Chief uh, is a guy on Instagram who apparently loves the fret buzz, and I really appreciate you watching the fret buzz, by the way. Um, and he sent me a fantastic suggestion. This is his guitar teacher. The channel is called Nasty Soul. Uh, it is sort of a, a, a the guy teaches a lot of like soul and neo soul guitar related things. He's a fantastic player. He's a cool teacher. Seems like a great guy. I really enjoyed his, uh, his lessons. I really love this one called the most popular neo soul chord progression on guitar. It's cool because it shows you a progression. It shows it to you in some different keys. It talks about the number system a little bit and, and sort of transposing. Uh, and it just gives some cool facts about this chord progression um, that I found really interesting and fun. So check it out. You might learn something, especially if you are sort of a rock or blues guy. This is a great way to branch out. Um, really, really cool stuff. So Nasty Soul is the name of the channel. Uh, the most popular Neo Soul chord progression on guitar. He definitely deserves more subscribers. So hope you guys check him out. Hope you like him and I hope you subscribe to his channel. So check that out. Um, another one that is a small channel, uh, and a guy I've actually met in person, who I can tell you is a fantastic guy and one of the best players you will ever come across. He's a Nashville guy, his name is Matthew Lee. Um, he does a lot of teaching stuff online with True Fire, with Country Guitar, I believe it's True Fire. Um, hopefully I'm not wrong on that, so correct me in the comments if I am. Uh, and we'll have a link to, to this video, obviously. But it's Matthew Lee, free lesson in the style of Danny Gatton by Matthew Lee. Now, Matthew Lee, follow him on Instagram, I follow him on Facebook. He plays a ton in downtown Nashville, um, and for a while he was putting out live videos of him playing these daytime shifts, doing really awesome, sort of more traditional country. He has a really cool style where he does this thing where he like plays slot in his pinky, so he's doing all these great sort of country jazzy things and sort of uh, mimicking steel guitar parts all at the same time. Pretty phenomenal. He is a jaw-dropping player. Um, I love him. He's a cool dude. He definitely needs more subscribers, and I think you'll dig his lessons, uh, especially if you, like me, love Danny Gatton. This is a great one, um, and he does a really great job breaking it down and explaining it. So check that out. Even if you don't try to learn the stuff, it's just fun to watch him play it and hear him talk about it. So Matthew Lee, free lesson in the style of Danny Gatton. Uh, check that out. Fantastic channel. Really cool lessons. The next one is a bigger channel. Um, and it's, it's kind of funny to me that I've never, never had him on the fret buzz before, never you know, highlighted one of his videos before. Um, but it's Mr. Philip McKnight, and he was actually kind enough, uh, it's been a few, three, three weeks or so ago now, he actually mentioned us on one of his live streams, which we are still very grateful for. Um, 
and obviously this had nothing to, to do with that because I, I had never mentioned him prior to that. Um, but I just happened to really, really like this video this week. Uh, so it's, it's an interesting concept. It's the name of the, I'll just tell you the name of the video. It's uh, Plex Squire Affinity versus Fender Custom Shop Strat. There is always the discussion of, can you take a lowering guitar like a Squire, Epiphone, whatever, upgrade it, mod it, set it up right, and have it compete alongside you know, a custom shop instrument or a high-end Gibson or, or whatever. Um, what's cool in this video is that uh, Philip actually gets a Squire from Sweetwater, has it plecked, and then sort of breaks it down <laughs> and compares it to some nicer guitars. Um, if you don't know what a plec machine is, it's this, this crazy machine that you put in all the data for the guitar in, it's, it scans it out, and then you know, mechanically with a computer, it makes the frets sort of as level as they can possibly be, makes them perfect. I think then a person has to still sort of polish them by hand and do some of the things by hand at the end, but as far as the leveling goes, it's, it's I don't even know to what tolerance, but it's way, way closer than, you know, I guess a, a human hand can get it. So this brings up lots of questions, like would you rather your guitar be set up by a machine or by a person? If you pluck a Squire, is it as good as an American-made Fender? Just lots of cool things, topics that we like to go back and forth about as guitar players. Um, so I found this really interesting. I'll let you guys watch it and see what the conclusions were and come up with your own conclusions. I'd love to know that in the, in the comments, what you thought um, about the Squire being plucked. It actually costs more to pluck this guitar than the guitar itself costs. So anyways, check it out. Let me know, would you rather have a nicer guitar or would you rather pay to have a, a guitar like a Squire plucked. Really interesting. So Philip, Mc, Philip McKnight, Pluck Squire Affinity versus Fender Custom Shop Strat. Uh, cool video. Uh, the next one uh, is a channel that is relatively new to me, even though he has a lot of subscribers. I just hadn't seen him a ton. Uh, and the name of the channel is Riffs, Beards, and Gear. So I love riffs, I love gear, and obviously I love, I love beards. So. It's perfect, can't believe I hadn't seen it before. This is a cool one. It's called The Story of EVH and Soldano Amps with Mike Soldano. So if you you know, know anything about Soldano Amps, they're really cool sort of high gain amps. Uh, Cladum used them for a while. Obviously Eddie Van Halen loved them. Um, he's sort of probably more known for his, his Brown Sound Marshall stuff, but was a big fan of these amps. On this one, Mike Saldano, who's actually obviously the owner and founder of, of that amp company, tells the story of meeting Eddie for the first time, um, trying out his amps, what that was like. He tells a really cool story about being able to sort of retube, uh, you know, Eddie's original Marshall, and and his his thoughts on the Brown sound and how Eddie Van Halen achieved that. Just a really interesting uh, video or a really cool interview. Um, and it seems to be a great channel. So check it out. I haven't watched a ton of his other content yet, but it's riffs, beards, and gear. So uh, go give him a like and a, a subscribe if you dig it. And I think you will. Uh, the last two, I'm putting a bonus in. I normally do five, but there were, there were six that I really, really enjoyed so far this week I found. So I thought, why not? The fifth one is gonna be Ben Eller, Uncle Ben. We have featured him before. Uh, he's got a great channel, he's a great player, he always has cool lessons, and he's hilarious. This one is called, Has Joe Bonamassa Lost It? Um, I know there is a lot of Joe Bonamassa hate out there. He's a fantastic player. Um, so people love him, some people hate him. Either way, this is a fun video. Um, ben is discussing whether he's gotten rusty uh, all year not being able to play live shows. I think that's been a question for a lot of guitar players who, you know, hone their chops consistently out on the road. And it's a great question, you know, have people, are people gonna be rusty when we see them? Is it possible to keep your chops up without gigging? I know that, that when you're uh, sort of in shape for, for gigs, it's a whole different thing than just playing at home. I know that's true for me. Maybe it's not true for some folks. Um, but it's kind of fun talking through that uh, sort of about Joe Bonamassa. And then he also breaks down some pretty darn cool Joe Bonamassa licks. Um, so check that out. Ben Eller has Joe Bonamassa lost it. Instagram Blues Explosion with Uncle Ben Eller. And then the last one, it's a channel I've talked about before. And we actually talked about this guy earlier this week in our Eric Clapton video because he got to play the, the Eric Clapton uh, Strat, which is pretty awesome. Uh, it's Music is Win. It's called the seven guitar tones all guitar players chase and how to get them. I usually try not to do 
too much of one channel at once so that it doesn't become just the same channel over and over again every week. But this is just a great video. I know that every one of these tones I have chased at some point or another with varying degrees of success. Some of them I still don't feel like I can get a good uh, a tone, you know, when I'm when I'm thinking about the the particular some of the particular ones that he talks about. So check them out. Uh, it's it's pretty darn interesting, and I think he does a great job of breaking down how to go about achieving some of these tones. I'm definitely going to try out some of the tips uh, that he put in there, and I just thought that was one that you would not want to miss if you're a tone chaser. And I, I assume if you're watching this channel, you probably are. So check all that out. Uh, jam track for the week is one of my favorite jam track guys. It's Sebastian Zunino, Cloudy Blues backing track in G minor. Uh, I will put my take uh, to that in the comments. It'll be on my channel. Thank you guys so much for all these subscriptions to my channel. I really appreciate it. You guys have been so kind to me um, and, and probably nicer than I deserve <laughs> on some of my, my playing on my own channel. Really appreciate it. I just hit 400 subscribers. So that is fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, so like always, I'll link my take in the description as well. I've had some great participation with you guys tagging us. Uh, one channel is Guitars and Music, put out a B Mixolydian Jam, where he tagged Fret Buzz and Casino Guitars on YouTube. Go check him out. Again, it's Guitars and Music, really cool channel. He's a great player. There's another guy who I've had the pleasure of chatting with lately. Stu, uh, I believe Stu's channel on YouTube is Stu, former guitar instructor. So check him out as well. Great player. He's got some cool little demos up. He just did a really cool demo of the Black Star Fly, the little mini amps. Um, and he's just a great player too. He actually sent me a clip of him um, jamming with a wah pedal uh, today or yesterday, this morning, maybe, maybe yesterday. I can't remember, it all runs together. Anyways, it was so good. So check both these guys out. Um, check out the backing track. If you do a take, remember, uh, use the hashtags, uh, the Fret Buzz, Casino Guitars, and Jonathan Robinson Music. That way we can find it and check it out. I'll comment on there. And I might even mention you like I did these guys just now. Uh, so again, thanks so much for watching. We appreciate it. If you have not already, hit like on this video, click subscribe so you don't miss anything, and hit that bell so that when videos come out, you'll get notified. We appreciate you guys watching our channel. We will see you next time. Have a great day.